head and cleared a heap of trees and now I'm bogged. Like proper bog? Proper bog. Chainsawing, clearing trees and bog after bog is taking its toll on everyone. I just want to get there now. I've had enough. Seriously, I've had enough. I'm over it. Look at that. Sorry, bud. You gotta be careful here. It's like jelly. All the rules, they're out the door. Walk the crossings? Yeah, it's off the checklist. We just deal with whatever happens. We're just running it. <laughs> when we would get out, we'd look at that raft of air, we'd trim some trees, and we'd nah, stuff it, let's just go. Just drive it. <sighs> I've never seen so many trees down on my days. We drive and we chainsaw, and we chainsaw, and we drive, and we chainsaw. And we drive, and then we chainsaw some more, and then we drive some more, and then we chainsaw some more, and then we drive some more, and then we chainsaw some more. We drive, and we I chainsaw, think he may need a bit of therapy chainsaw. after this one. We drive, and we chainsaw, and we chainsaw, and we drive, and we chainsaw, and we drive, and then we chainsaw some more, and then we... Oh, more lower-lying country, I like it. Not so many big trees. Oh, I can't wait to pop out onto the open stuff. It's going to be gold. So she's starting to open up a little bit, Tom. Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Don't get any chickens. There's a big heap of trees up ahead. Oh, great. Uh, we got one more major creek crossing coming up for the Chester. Oh, excellent. We've got a K10. It's K10. Oh, it's probably an 8. Code 8? That's code for... That's a code for big tree across the track. Code 8. This out. creek crossing's going to test us getting out of this one. Yeah, a bit of a hole there I can see in front of me. <laughs> it nearly crashed right there. The Chester is a diagonal crossing. It'd be hard to spot the exit if you haven't been here before. Just pop you onto that tree just to get you across that hump, eh? Uh, yeah. I'll just grab your winch off and you just hit it and I'll run. Because we're going to have to pull it oh, away okay, again yeah, anyway. Yeah. Double line pull now, Nigel. Well, uh, Set her up. Tracks, tracks yeah, get some tracks under the front and the rears, please, mate. We need a fair bit of planning for this climb out. All the gear comes into play. Inch by bit, inch by inch. He's getting there. It's not pretty, but he's getting there. Go for a repo. I'm out! Now we play on the Max Tracks. I'm gonna get my car. Oh, now that I haven't got a trailer, huh? we we'll go for a full Snatch recovery with the kinetic rope. Yeah, that worked a bit. I'll go back again. I'll let Nige put some tracks on and we'll do it again. We might have to do the pulley block thing with me a bit, maybe, I don't know. You'll winch out from there, eh? Just about. It's going good. 
Come on, baby. Find some traction. You're out. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, thank goodness. That's <laughs> two up. <laughs> oh, I did the back off thing again. I did the back off. Well, what did you do that for? I don't know. And he missed the tracks. He didn't even drive over the tracks. I don't know what Lloyd keeps doing, but he keeps hitting stuff and he hits it hard. But then when he sort of, he backs off. He does this little back off thing where he goes, oh, and he backs off. He does it every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting you in all sorts of trouble. We're not far off now, mate. Well, I'm itching to get there, I'm telling you. Break out in the plane. We're here. Oh, thank goodness for that. We're leaving the engine, Jason. No, no, we're here, mate. We are here. We made it out on the plane. You. Like a never-ending track, that one. That was an absolute mission. Oh, there's a couple of cows there. That's boggy, dude. We finally arrive on the open floodplains. It's just us and the bulls. We camp out here for the night. We all need a rest after three days of heavy tree clearing. The sun rises on a new day. It's a couple of kilometres to the Nesbit now, so fishing is on everyone's mind. There we go, mate. We finally made it. Oh, we get to use the boat for the first time. Oh, I'm excited about using this one. We'll use the ATVs to tow the tinny in on the last section. We were thinking it's an easy run now. A spot of fishing is coming up. But then we arrive at the high river bank. New track? The carnage from Cyclone Trevor is incredible. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not looking good. You can't even see where the track was. And here we are out in the flats there, hooking the tinny on, going, we've made it. Yay, high fives. We've made it to the nest bit. Hell no, we haven't. It's just a mass of dead trees. The river was about 10 metres deep here and raging through this forest. Go! The Nesbit is a wild river, untouched by man, so no flood mitigation. With a metre of rain hitting the coast and with such a large catchment, all that flood water came through here and headed out to sea. Another 100 metres cleared. We pop out and see the river. We're pretty happy about that. We made it! <laughs> Woo! Only just. Only just, you reckon? <laughs> Good job, mate. Oh, Good, mate. Job. Good job. Ooh, what a mission that was. Good job. That Sam, was a mission. mission. Thanks, bud. Good job, Sam. All good, all good. Yeah. Good job. All good, Nigel. We cut down, I think, three trees. Was it three trees? No, 300. <laughs> 300. 303. 303. Oh, I can't wait to get a line in here. Oh, let's go fishing. It should be muddy to launch here. We need to find a launch spot. We'll find one. Did everyone see Simon tow the boat here to this point? Actually, I brought it all the way in on the trailer and I towed it all the way in on the buggy. Does anyone see Simon with the keys? <laughs> Don't 
Come on, let me have first drive. Like hell. Come on, let me first drive. Come on. Got him. It's happening. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, Trevally around him, actually. Hey! Like tarpon. That was a good one too. Simon's on! You it's got a fish. fish? It's a barra! It's oh, a barra with the barra. size of it! It's a barra, it doesn't matter. It's the first barra in the nest bit. I've caught it. Well, I've hooked it, I haven't caught it yet. It's still a barra. And it's in the boat, so it counts. Oh, we got a barra. <laughs> oh, I caught a barra in the nest bit. I'm happy. We can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, getting dong. Oh. Yes. He's that on. on. Woo. Hey, Nods, don't come over here. Just screw the catching fish over here. <laughs> there we go. Little Trevally. Don't steal the limelight off my barra. Trevally your barra's doesn't... too small. We can't see it on it's, camera. Trevally doesn't count. Look, barra. The barra doesn't barra. count. Barra. Trevally. It's all about barra. No, we catch, Trevally. We catch Trevally everywhere Trevally. we go. Trevally. All right. First, That's not it. first the barra. the size of it. It doesn't matter. It matters. Look, it's too big. It's so big, <laughs> you threw it away. That's a jack. Yeah. Nice jack. Good jack. Ooh, good jack. Look at him. He crunched it hard. You can catch jack. He crunched it hard, Simon. Mm -hmm. A cool looking fish. And a decent set of teeth. Yes. Barra under the snag. Barra. Man, little follows, but so right. far. Oh, oh, he didn't bite it, doesn't count. Got his brother? That's yep. A little bit better, that one. A little bit better. Today. A bit bigger. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, look at that. He's in the boat, so count. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. Oh, that's a good jack. Oh, that's a big jack. That's a big jack. Straight out of the tree. Hell, dude. Jack. jack. Want full episodes of All for Adventure ad-free? Go to Unleashed.tv for our full library of content.